That was the worst hit I've seen in my life. It's a cloak opener? It's a cloak opener. Honestly, cloaks aren't that bad. It's a soul plate. That's about it, though. Ooh. It's a Deja game again. The is a foot. I think this items aren't that good. Oh, God. Our items are like... I feel like it cannot be worse than this. No. What the fuck do we even have? We have five gold. Five gold, no units. Items kind of suck. Bro. Shimmer. I don't even have a fucking cane. Or an Aatrox. Sorry, am I really rolling this? Am I just playing Shasana then? With these items? Sure. I've seen this. Let's have some fun. It must be done. What the fuck am I fighting? Holy shit. I'm fighting someone with... Holy shit. Eternal Winter Cargo's opener? Hmm. And he has like everything upgraded? Sure. I'm too worse. I'm gonna start stacking since I lost. I'm not sure if I just reforging one of these items. The thing is, I might get a Tristan off Carousel. If I get Tristan off Carousel, I'll reforge that, so. Probably won't reforge that. Is everyone here just a fucking 50 on a front line this game? Bro. to get 50 out every round. I don't want to set two. Why? Not really. Open up with all five. We fought level five. What the fuck? Just full open is already like that's four she wanted me. Same thing a unit. Are we really 70 okay at least we killed one unit. We're 76, so we're loaded each unit and the people that are fucking full open. Any Tristana, and then we forge it. Would be good here. We can go Sunfire Tristana, honestly. But I feel like there's no way we're holding this fucking Tristana for that long. So let's reforge it. I wish we had a remover instead of this re reforger, though. Fuck. I really want the chain. Fuck. Do you just, like, greet it? Sunfire Tristana? Hold all items until you fucking die. That sounds like an eight. That actually sounds like an eight. I think with a cloak or a chill. It's a hodge, probably. Hopefully, two trigger neutrals. I don't know this guy has so much HP, honestly. I think we just like low rolled 445. There's gonna be a lot of Deja players in this lobby probably. What the fuck? Dude, I wish I didn't slam the thing down on him. The players for sure no. I wish we had a Silas. We should heal him with him though as well, fuck. Why is belt the shun? I don't want to win. I don't need healing. Where's the hog uh, we, a, we could just go a uh, siphon for it in this game, most likely. Fuck the mic. Uh, this way, two tricks and neutrals. Then we're 76 to win. Or three, lost three. Or, yeah. I've seen worse. 
but okay, we know why Melka's won some rounds, I suppose. Tristan and two, uh, you know, a, a set of two, but also a siphon up there. Super early. Yeah, getting the early siphon here has got to be really good for Milk. Uh, you know, the fact that often people run the Idis, but Siphon has become a really good alternative. It gives you that built-in armor and MR shred that you get from Whispers, allowing your Cannoneers to do even more damage. And you can actually build Siphon pretty tanky, knowing that he'll get that stacks of AD and AP, you know, usually run something like four Whispers, something like that. So pretty good transition here for Milk, and so hopefully... You can get some augments that support this. Maybe turn this into a quirky. I doubt we're going to see Tristana reroll. Yeah. Um, but again, we're also seeing that the early cannoneers are being ridiculously contested here. You know, we saw Casper trying to do that. We're seeing this on Milk's board. So a lot of cannoneers here, and we'll have to see who transitions into what. I actually want to, want to further elaborate on the point that you brought up there with the, you know, in these canyon compositions, how Siphon can be built tanky. How tanky do you think is, uh, you know, merit to, to build Siphon? Because Milk's going for, I mean, Titans is kind of tanky, but it is still, you know, offense oriented. Same with the Bloodthirster. But what is kind of your ideal, if there was one, of a Siphon build in this quirky composition? Yeah, it's interesting because you need that sort of solo front line. And so I actually like, the, you know, the Gargoyle and something like a Bloodthirster, because he has such a high base HP, that Bloodthirster provides a lot of extra shield. I think Titans is a pretty good choice here. You're getting a lot of armor and MR, allowing you to do some pretty good damage. So this is good. It'll especially be really good, obviously, in stage three. Yeah. The one thing we have to worry about is late game, this will fall off really hard. We can sometimes see Siphon get bursted down, especially by those Dejas that are gonna be shredding the MR here. But at this point, we're going to get a lot of key bites here. Tristana doing the big, you know, splash here and does manages to beat Malala, of all people, with that comp. Yeah. So that's that's got to feel really good. Leveled to six here, and that was a good play. Fuck. Is it even Celestial Blessing? I have so much healing. I mean, it's not Kanir. Unless it is Kanir. Honestly, I think, like, infinite healing early game on Siphon. I'll just win streak forever. I'm gonna just heal my 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 shitter, I guess. I believe in the future of Dragon. Oh, is that real Tristana? Holy shit, he is. Oh. Okay, if this shit dies instantly. I should just run on my siphon then, because honestly, but I don't know if a siphon like this siphon almost died here, you know. Like, can this guy even solo front line? I mean, CV, BT, Siphon, it's not gonna have a shit. Hit one Silas, the game's over. Well, for Thresh, for Whisper, even, next turn, probably. Dude, does everyone's lobbies have fucking Tristana too already? Like, what the fuck? How can everybody have Tristana too? I actually wish we had a little better augment, because Celestial Blessing isn't like that much value for me. This game, only because I have so much healing already. Like I have BT Hodge. The series like super low, but nowhere just got fun, right? Oh, we got Sin Olaf, I what the fuck? That's even like better. This glove. I'm done with glove. Oh yeah, I can fight the fucking Sin player? Oh. We're going to eight fight him, I guess. I mean, it's not gonna beat him though, how we position. Fuck. Dude, I got a Sin Olaf off Carousel? Is this guy playing Clear Mind Volley Bear? Last- okay, Last Hand Volley Bear is actually beyond broken though. Like, high key. I I hope we just dodge the Olaf guy, I guess, and don't fight him. We hit another siphon. This guy two star. I don't even want to buy this, honestly. This guy two star. Dude, I fought him. I mean, we're fucking losing. Even though I'm clumped, this fight's a fucking. It's fucking good. 
My siphon will go. Never mind. Like, bro, what is this guy's board? I didn't kill a single unit. Man, I was really hoping to not fight this guy this round. It's okay. Man, this guy's this guy's 50 gold with this board. And these augments, he's fucking sat BIS everything. Holy shit. Oh the shimmer again. Okay, never mind. I was hoping I just dodge him when she pulls trigger neutrals. Rod. I think I just go Quincy off carousel. Should we just roll slightly? I am one. Oh, off. I'm not stop. I'm just gonna put us in for fucking Cyber Valley one tech like this. Sure. Oh, so is fine. Uh, just playing Corky as well. There is roll. I'm letting like one siphon off from spiking. But I feel like rolling more is kind of a grief at this point. Because I have a uh, Triss 2. Oh. I guess it's just best friend. I don't even love best friends in spot. Dude, is this ever just high in shopping? There's no way. It's best one for sure, I'm pretty sure. It's actually pretty I actually really want Prismatic here. Because it might swing the lobby. Good. Oh, bar, dude. Why does someone pink? What the fuck? I don't have a Lulu yet, so maybe I should just play Sona. Honestly, getting barred odds is actually fine, probably. There's a Nico 2. The fucking Eternal Winter. I almost lost this way, holy shit. Where did I go for my last item? I don't even know. Oh, I fucking lost best friend. I'm fucking trolling. What the fuck? I was- I forgot I even had best friends. Holy shit. What the fuck? Oh, it's the Mirage again. I'm pretty sure it's, more, it's the healing one, so I'm pretty sure we're fine anyways. But I'm actually trolling. What the fuck? I guess I didn't kill a single unit, so... Also, I didn't farm two meeps. We're chilling. Okay, I need a Lulu. Probably just gonna level here then, I guess. 21 bow, BF. Bow, BF, probably. BF, I guess. Glove. I don't want Sunfire. It's point of chain. That's gone as well. Should we just go for Sona too? It's only Sona. Chain? Fuck it. We don't want to cloak. Any Sonas? Or no, Lulu's I mean? I'm fucking Deadheim in here. I think Deadheim. All my items are fucking dead I feel like. I actually feel like all my items are dead. Holy shit. I mean, this guy's fucking Senna 1 carry, bro. Or Senna 2 carry, man. What the fuck? Like, who's your Mr. Sana? No. What the fuck? That was kind of sush. I don't want to solve Tristana's. Honestly, I feel like I'm about to roll quite a bit. I'll sell you soon. Stop it. 
This guy's okay. We have not. F what the? F we haven't fought this guy since like he had volley one, man. What the fuck? What the fuck? Hopefully, I'll just die. Also, I really need this Lulu because I'm losing Mystic and Boker. Quirky two. I don't think we can beat anybody. Hope we don't. Oh, we fought this guy. We're taking fifty. Man, this guy's killed my streak every single time now. What the fuck, bro? I just killed it all off. Can we win this, actually? I just randomly sniped this Olaf. Very fun, very fun. But Probably undeserved. You know what, Nico actually might win out this game? Holy shit. Dude, he'd actually need a pocket here. Fuck. And then someone just kills him, but... BF. It's literally only BF though. I mean, it's a fucking death cap I don't want. Sunfire is useless. Lulu's game, right? Where does actually stack this go down? Do we bramble TG? Rello? I'm definitely not killing him with my fucking no item fucking. What should we call it, carry? Actually, almost won. But it's like BS everything. Holy shit. Celestial Blessing 3, last stand. What the fuck? What do we want to actually? I think we'd have won if we had fucking Lulu in. Holy shit. And I don't want to teach. Actually, should I just TG Corky? That sounds like a fucking grief. I was going to TG Triss and just Hodge. Die. Oh, what if I just TG my Corky? Eh, uh, I'll just hold. Let's go on Deja. We got fucking CC'd. And this guy went off. The heck, too? I'm pretty sure Nico won the lobby. He's didn't proc last stand yet. He actually hit Sorrel. He's on stage 4. Okay, I'm just gonna hope I don't fight him. This entire lobby hit everything. I'm just gonna roll more time so you take off carousel, never mind. This trap call? Block. Siphon's ulti? No way, right? I think, at least. Bro, walk a little faster. I mean, we're definitely not winning this game, but I think the thing is, Nico's giving really like a one unit loss, so he's not even like killing anyone for us at all. You didn't kill shit. Let's go, Shiv. Shiv Corky, fuck it. Shiv Corky. Little Shiv Hodge Corky, TG Trasana, sure. I've seen worse.
What the fuck? Those are my fucking shiv items. RTJ. There's any chance I can win this actually. I think I might win this honestly. Siphon's pretty good against Molly Bear. Especially with my build, I build GS. Uh, I'm like full volley counter kind of. Uh, if I went so low, I'll just here. I wouldn't be surprised if I beat the real. Like the him with last stand, honestly, this fight. I honestly think we might have been able to beat him. That fight looked so one-sided that like with what I rolled. It might have been low roll too, but you know. I mean we could just tech in uh Bolivar and hope. Dude, how come I can't pick up his Nomzi? What the fuck? His Nomzi's so fat I can't pick him up. Holy shit. What the fuck? But I promise you 100% Nomzi hitbox is 100% bugged. There is actually- there's, there's no way you can tell me that Nomzi's fucking hitbox is not bugged. Like zero. Maybe someone just kills him for us. I think we go nine, we play a Suo, we can actually kill him. Maybe not, bro. Mm, I was really hoping for a good item here. Like my corky items this game? Bro, what are we what are even our corky items? Fucking Hod Shiv? Like what? How does guy get an item? Warmogs? It just gives a thousand HP on his guy for free? Sure, I've seen first. I think I rolled right into Morello. Like, dude, look at this. This shit's beyond bug. Like, what the fuck? This guy's hitbox is like beyond bug. Who the fuck you get to keep going? Hulu? Faster cast? Sure. I didn't swap the Sona. Uh, I didn't fight him. Did swap the Sona? This raid of Morello is kind of scary. Never mind. I didn't fucking cast. That guy's playing a fucking clone. I didn't go lit. What the fuck? We're on Milk's board here. Milk got, you know, the pretty much the quintessential quirky comp. Has very good augments for it. Has best friend. We saw that early siphon getting him to this point. And so now we'll just have to see. But I, I really like these augments. These are three combat augments. This is a lot of power. Oh, really much Chrome the only weakness looking at this guy. board is the fact uh, that Quirky's down an item. But positioning is not getting best for... Oh, there we go. Okay, swaps last second. I was going to say, those units are all touching each other in the, in the middle, um, but does swap that positioning. Making sure that Siphon is going to be jumping into the correct spot, right? Siphon positioning can make or break these boards, but Melk, obviously, one of the TFT greats is going to be well on top of that one. Gets the Siphon into the back line, takes out the Corky, starts autoing the Sona as well. Melk showcasing why he's amongst the tournament greats in NHCFT history. Yeah, and so now this is a ghost board, so I'm kind of watching the side right Wait, now. Wait, you're going to get Yasuo'd. Holy Kurum shit. Kurum wins the fight, Yasuo? so King Cracks Ooh. gets taken down. We see the, the Volo Bear here. The, oh, there's the Yasuo. Oh, that's the, yeah. The Yasuo. No. That's what you were talking about earlier, Mort. The only way, or one of the only ways that Volley can get taken down is a stacked Yasuo that can live until the end of the fight, and that's exactly what that was. A triple item Yasuo 2. For all that hard work, Nico ends up in bot 4. I need a fucking G on it, bro. Why does fucking Sona have a G on it? My Corky walked into the Sona. Huh? I feel like it's the most unfortunate fight of all time. Just win? Holy shit, we won? What the fuck? 
I mean, Zeke's for sure, but... Is it Rebel? I.E. I don't have a fucking 3M Corky. You have a 2M Corky?! I had a fucking 2M Corky this entire time?! Milk, though, definitely looking like the lobby favorite uh... here, and... This is one of the big changes we talk about, by the way, with the, the Namzi nerf uh, mm -hmm. that happened in the B patch. Weaker in the early game, but stronger in the end game. This Namzi has more health than it did in the, before the B patch. Yeah. And so this is giving Milk a lot of frontline, as we saw, between the Siphon, the Silas, and the Namzi. And so it's just barely enough. The IE for the Corky does make a ton of sense here. Make sure you have your third item. I kind of like that. Um, three Cannoneer isn't going to be a big spike, neither is three Rebel. <laughs> this is just banking on Corky doing as much damage as possible. Good Zephyr there, though. Yeah, no Deja, but feeling a little Deja Vu here at this matchup yet again. Great Zephyr, and this time around, the Siphon's in a bit of a better spot, but does get stuck onto that Namzi, Namzi 4, but still Ooh. getting one shot. The IE on Milk's Corky going to make him even that much more powerful. And yeah, this matchup is way less close. Kurum... Great job at getting a third place here, I think, with uh, that think fast stabilization, but not going to net much more than that. It is just a top two situation where Melk has a lot more HP to work with. Both players on a win streak, uh, actually. But Melk yep. still is able to cap higher, go level nine, now has that Nom Z4, and still only is on Lulu 1, right? This board can get a lot better between Bard upgrade, Lulu upgrade, and just a ninth, or I guess an eighth unit. Yeah, the Nomzi 4 here, though, Nomzi 4 has 175 armor and MR, so it ends up being oh, really, wow. really tanky. Uh, we'll have to see what Malala's running. Malala's got that Yasuo, though, and a really strong Deja, really good front line. This could go either way. Oh, this is the middle position Deja. You don't see that often, but see where the cast goes here. It doesn't hit the Corky nor the Sona, though, so I actually don't know if I, if I like this middle Deja positioning. The Siphon is going to be dashing away from it, though. The asshole is still alive and has the healing coming through. This Why could be Malala's comeback here. Melk loses out the round, but 76 gold to work with. Still has a stronger board to reach. Malala, one of the standouts from yesterday. The standout, in fact, getting first place on the day. Can they make similar stuff happen? They did, of course, get a fourth place game number one. Ooh. Looking to make it a first here in game it, number two. But the Zephyr versus the Edge of Night. Yeah, yeah the, the big difference here is the Zephyr. The Zephyr is going to be really handy. If you can get that on the Siphon or the Corky, that's going to make a big difference, allowing the Deja time to spike up. Whereas the Edge of Night doesn't really have a great user here. You're not going to Edge of Night your Silas. Uh, maybe it goes on Sona. That's not going to make a massive difference. We are going to see a level up to 9 for Milk, I have to imagine, here at 7-1. Oh, is going for a Sona 3 win condition. Oh. This is really bold. I like I this I fucking play miss a Sona. Are you fucking oh, misses a Sona, me? though. We definitely Ooh, saw one go past. There's a Quirky. Kind of just last minute nerves. Going for Quirky 3, Sona 3. Can he pull it off here? This is a big roll down. We saw one Sona missed. It's the Bard. Two. At this point, it doesn't look like there's seven. Oh, we have two lives. We have two lives. Uh, it we have two lives. ends up okay. stopping. Isn't going to make it. Has to worry about positioning. The other thing when you do these crazy roll downs is you don't reposition. And that can cost... I didn't see where the Zephyr... Okay, the Zephyr hit the Namzi. That's not bad. It's not great. Yeah. But here comes the big Deja waves. Is going to do some damage here. As long as the Yasuo and the Deja live, this feels like it's Malala's game. It just has Yasuo's to live. Down. Yasuo Yasuo's is down. down, and there's oh, a siphon right. in the back line. Looks like one more bite. Woo. Yeah, Melk will do it. Did not hit Corky or Sona 3, but didn't need to. Melk taking a much needed victory here in game number two. A great start. Showing why Corky, even if you don't have this crazy end game cap as well, you could just Corky siphon all the way to a victory with just some good solid play. I fucking suck at TFT. Okay, honestly, it's probably just level then. What the fuck? It was all for sure. It was all for fucking four mystics. You guys know damage. I'm fucking trolling. Alright, don't worry about that game. Do not worry about that game. That game was a fluke. That was a fluke.